So this is a short demonstration on how to make a checkbox check and uncheck when you click on a group. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our group inside of our repeating group. And we're going to add a custom state. We're going to make this checked. We're going to make it a yes, no. Oops. Tape. Create that. Default value, no. Then we're going to go to our checkbox and the preset status. We're going to go to dynamic. And we're going to go to our group animals checked. We're just going to leave it as that. Now, when we click on this group, we need to have a workflow here. And we're going to have to set our state of our group animals to checked, custom state checked to yes. But we only want to do that when our state is no. So back on this top level here, we're going to say when group only when group animals checked is no. We need to copy this and paste it because we have to reverse it too. Because when this is yes, we have to set the state to no. The other thing we have to do is uh, this checkbox. We also need to give it some workflows. So we're starting at the workflow on that. So when this, we're going we're gonna to copy this uh, expression here only when group panels checked is no. We'll paste the expression in here. And we're going to also copy the set states to yes. And we'll paste that here. Now, we can copy this over, which we will get to in a second. And, but we have one more piece of the puzzle here that we need. We need to go to Element Actions, Group Reset Data. <clears throat> this is really the key here. It allows the checkbox to be checked and unchecked. Without it, it will only go one direction, and then it won't work again. So we got to change this. We're copy and pasting this again. We're changing this to a yes. Group panels checked as yes. We're going to set the state to no. So now if we preview this, you can see that when we click on this, it checks. When we click on it, it unchecks. And when we click on the checkbox, it checks and unchecks. If we click on the checkbox and we click on the group, it works both directions. Everything checks and unchecks just how you would expect it to. Now from here, if you want to get data out of here, you can do a couple of different things. Um, you can we're going to go data. We're going to make changes to a thing, and we're going to go to current users animals. We're going to add. Current cells animals only when this group's checked. So yes. And we're going to paste this. And we're going to make it when this group checked is no, we're going to remove animals from the list. We're going to copy and paste these across each of these four workflows. Oops. We have to change these. We have to change the the only wins because they're referring to the parent group's checkbox. Uh, so we're make them is checked. Oh, we're gonna make it uh, isn't checked and is checked. Same for this. All right. So now we refresh this. We can go over here to our data tab and we can see that there are no animals in our current user. So if I click on bird and we check bird and we go over here and we edit, we can see that we've added an animal. Now this is the unique ID of bird. 
Um, so if we uncheck bird and we go over here and we look at this again, you can see that it's gone. Now this will work for all of them. We can add however many we want and you can see that we got a list of them here and we can remove them again. No problem. There you have it. Happy building.